work experience across the year. These range from libraries through to our skilled craft teams over at Northbridge, from finance through to social care. Now because we receive so many, we have a new process in place. Now this process is a lot more real world in that you would see a placement online, you'd then apply for it and then you'd go through to an interview stage. Now don't worry, the interviews are really informal and it's a lot more about you finding out about the post. So if you want to find out more about the work experience placements available, you can go onto the council's internet and search work experience and our bulletins are on there with all the different placements available. We now need managers to come forward and commit to some placements so you can choose how many you offer a year and when they are so you can avoid busy periods. The new process also allows you to choose through interview your candidates so it's an easy way to find somebody who's got a genuine interest in your work area. Now has never been a better time to have a positive impact on somebody's future career. I enjoyed meeting the residents and the staff. I met up with the manager first hand and spoke about my course and we worked out what I'd need to gain. So because I'm doing social work, we worked out that I could meet the other professionals involved and talk with social workers as well <coughs> and get the experience for that. I, I enjoy working at the council because I do do lots of different things. Um, I work with nice people and the job is different every day. I'm an AAT apprentice so I'm learning level 4 at college so I get a lot of information from that which I can apply to work and I get to deal with lots of people like external from the council so I deal with schools so I get to speak to different people from there as well. I'm enjoying getting to meet new people that I maybe wouldn't have got to meet outside and at university and it's interesting to learn how the things that I learn at uni can be applied in day-to-day -day life. It's a great way to build my CV and show that I have industry knowledge and it's good to understand how I can use my skills at work as well as in theory. I chose the council because it's a public sector so it's different to understanding what goes on in the private sector and in the council there's a lot more departments and there's a lot more people involved such as the stakeholders so it's interesting to learn how things go on here. Opportunity more than anything, um, I changed career after 10 years in retail and there was a good after four months of um, ex like sort of work experience in finance there was an opportunity came up at the council for a finance support officer and I applied and during the interview it was discussed uh, as to how I could develop and they, there was the opportunity to, to complete my AAT through the council. Um, so I picked up a lot of knowledge around budgeting, um, reconciliations, uh, tax information, uh, a lot of it is more related to the private sector but there is still transferable skills into the public sector. I was key for this voluntary to happen and for me to do it. It allowed me to gain, gain insight and just start my career. Basically, the, the idea was put forward by uh, a body of people called CISL uh, who help people with disabilities or like anxiety or being out of work and the fear of going back into the now. It, it gives me something to look forward to and uh, you know, you get out of the habit of getting up in the morning. So getting up in the morning is you're out of practice. So basically it gets you to practice. It gives you that confidence, I always wear confidence, uh, in, 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 in a little way it's a gradual build up process to you know, get one to believe themselves so you, you can do it. Part of what I think is important about doing the placements is um, to share the understanding of what we do in the council and um, to kind of share that what, what financial management's role is and to give um, students the opportunity to kind of learn and be part of the workplace you know so that they can use that and, and hopefully help them progress um, and get a job at the end of, um, when they're at the end of their studies um, we take a-level students, like people from university, so different background. One of the feedback we got was some, somebody kind of done a private and a public and they liked to, they really found it useful to see the difference um, and one of the key things was, you know, our government, they found that really 
surprising and how the procurement rules and all that kind of stuff they were just kind of really took that away and what it does to the team I think it's good for the team because I think when you're explaining something to somebody it kind of you think about it a bit more and so it, it helps with us understanding what we do as well um, it's good for the team a bit of you know a bit of fresh perspective we get them involved in projects and get their take on it which is really useful the benefits to uh, Doncaster Council are having to get to meet people that are going to be future leaders and managers within our services. So having the opportunity to play a part and see a person develop their career and move on to bigger and better things is the achievement that we want to see. It's a two way thing yeah. as well mm -hmm. because we get to see whether they enjoy it, whether they're up for it and whether they realise. So it's not just about them finding out for themselves it's what they want to do and so just as well we can see if that's what they really want to do as well yeah and my nephew came last year and uh, he's got a job now doing what he came here to do so it was a really good experience for him and uh, yeah because he's got an apprenticeship out of it now i think some of the youngsters speaking for myself i didn't even know what i want to do at 16. I just what my dad told me what my brothers told me and I ended up in a trade that I'd never have chose and loved it, which was the joinery. Opportunity. Quality. Insight. Experience. Uh, confidence.